Hello guys, welcome in the saddle. Today I'm going to do the watching and commentating on my winning round in Monaco at the Global Champions uh, League last summer. So every time we, you have a rider like uh, Julian Epayard in the ring, you know, is always dangerous. He is a very, very fast rider and to beat him on the time is very difficult and very risky for all of the other riders, you know. So I would think uh, Julian Apiard is one of the fastest riders in the world. And so we were watching a lot what he, he was doing. And uh, as you see now, he's, he's jumping clear and he's very fast. He's a very smooth rider. You know, he's very natural the way uh, he, he rides fast. You know, he, he doesn't stress or anything. You know, it's, it's just beautiful to watch, you know, to see how he can, how smooth he can ride and so fast. So for the young riders, I think this is one of the guys you should watch, you know, to see how he can go fast in a smooth way. And you see he comes to the last line here now. It's uh, actually a little bit forward six, but he does it easy, nearly in the holding six there to the last. And, you know, and it is brilliant, clear and very fast, which put a lot of pressure on, on us. You know, Evelina had to go in and Henrik von, uh, von Eckermann, he's a brain washer to just concentrate, to go clear and nice and smooth and you know and she's a very good listener so now we're going to watch what she's going to do you know so uh, but and uh, Evelina is a fantastic girl she can take the pressure unbelievable you know and she showed it time by time you know and she comes into this big competition and produce clear rounds by clear rounds she is the biggest clear round producer in in our team so we have a great thank to her and she started very nicely she touched number one and uh, then we said all right then we thought then we, she will stay clear and uh, but she's riding very good very safe and controlled all the way you see here now coming around the corner and the ox are there very good she set stop the horse here for the the wall with the poles on top also very good but you see she has a good she has she's not slow and she's not over fast it's very good rhythm into the combination and now she keeps them together down to the to the plank, but she's very good. And what is important for her here is to hold it together before the double here. So she get room enough in the double, which was very good there. Three fences to jump. And I'm watching and I know if she jumps clear, you know, the pressure is on me that I have to, to do well, you know. And she comes there and she's planned to do six strides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Brilliant round, you know. So I think, you know, when I go in there now, you know, it put pressure on me, you know, going in there. I have to do well. I can allow one fence down, but uh, not two, because then they will probably beat us on time. Because, like I said, Julian is a very, very fast rider. But the only thing I'm thinking of, you know, when I go in the ring is to jump one fence at a time and, you know, and, and try to focus on the job, not on the result. Because if you start thinking about the podium and the prize money and all this, then it's go everything to pieces, you know. So I think that's to just concentrate on your job from number one on to the last, you know, it's in, it's important. For me, it's very important. To, it's a small horse, uh, Quattro. He's only 162 high. He's very careful, but he's also very brave, you know, And but he likes to be uh, he likes to be close to the fence, like you see there on the two second fence. I put him close. He jumped very good on number three there, uh, and he always go cross canter behind. But I don't care, as long as he jumps clear. Jumps very good there, and then I have to hold him together here. I cannot have him on a flat stride. Very good again there. And when he comes out here for the uh, double here, you know, which is he jumps very good in, very good out, and then I do one extra stride here to the plank because I don't want them to be flat here. And when I, I had to plan to go into the next double, and I have to be close. As closer I am, the better he jumps. And I'm very close, and he jumps he's very good. And now I know I have three fences to jump, and I have to jump two of the three, you know, to, to win the class. He jumps this very good. Keep up the pace. Don't start to think about the prize ceremony yet. And I keep there. And I plan to do six here. But then he was a bit deep there, so I thought, I don't want to tip up now, so I do one extra. And it's easy to do one extra. And then I jump the clear, just with the time point, which was pity for the for the bonus, but 
that's uh, was secondary today because the feeling when I go over the finish was fantastic. Winning in Monaco at such a special place, you know, is unbelievable. So, you no, know, I must say, you know, this was uh, at that time my biggest uh, moment in my career. After 45 years, you know, on the Norwegian team and, and now on the Scandinavian team, you know, it's uh, it was a great day and with the teammate like Evelina, you know, cool, cool as a cus uh, cool as a cucumber and uh, jumped fantastic clear and made it easier for me. If she had one down, you know, it would, be, it would have been even more pressure, you know, so no, so it was a good teamwork today, you know, and it worked out very well, you know. I was thinking all day how we're going to put this together because you see a lot of these competitions that, you know, people have the lead and they come to the second day and uh, under pressure and uh, everything fall to pieces. You see here, I make an extra one here to the last to make sure that I, I jump it, you know, and we win the class. So, no, that was a great moment, you know, and uh, like I said, Monaco is a very special place. You know, we all been watching the Formula One there, you know, and and then later, then I, then when I go to finish, I can start to think about the, the, how I'm going to feel when I be on the podium. And uh, to be on a podium in Monaco, I find also very special. You know, to be on a podium everywhere is, is fantastic, but in Monaco it will be great. Global Champions League victory in your history. This is absolutely sensational stuff. The only team to stay on double clean. How does it feel? <laughs> amazing, amazing feeling. Gerd, tell me how you feel yeah, about it. Yeah, it was, you know, when she jumped clear, it made it easier for me. My, but both horses were jumping fantastic today and, you know, we deserve this. The you deserve, that's true. The scenario was perfect. Extra faults for the Monaco Aces, the home team, unfortunately. You had the cushion of eight points. Did you feel extra pressure coming in? No, I thought, you know, if I had one down, you know, normally my horses, if he's clear or one down, and the way he was jumping, I had him, he touched one in the collecting ring, and normally when he touched one, he's very good. Talking about touches, Evelina, the little de la Pomp jumped great, however, yeah. the touch on the first went, yeah, my heart I'm stopped. Yeah, I was a bit lucky there, I must say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then you, Ger, um, you said you went for double clear, but you stuck to your plan. You rode the extra try into the last line and got the one time fault. Yeah, because then, you know, I, I thought I'm not going to do something that I'm sorry about language <laughs> that I'm going to fall off or do something. I want to play safe. You know, I've been in a job for a long time and I know it's not over before the fat lady sings. Um, to the old man and the young lady, congratulations. Your first ever global Champions League win. Yeah. Congratulations to the whole team. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, tops there. Congratulating one of his riders. And the feeling to be there on the podium in Monaco, you know, like I said before, was fantastic, you know. And I was just wishing to spray that uh, spray that champagne down the neck from Laura Crowd. So it took us ten rounds, ten stages. Well, he won. It's it's the it's the, the you know. The roller coaster of life. Yeah. What can I say? Apologies for that. But there we go. It is all about winning. And uh, there we go. It is all about the champagne shower. You don't mind getting wet if you're on the winning squad. Gullickson, I think you'll have a swig of that. Thanks, guys, for watching this fantastic uh, recall from my victory in in uh, Monaco, which was a great memory for for Evelina and me, and not at least for the team Scandinavian Vikings. And uh, for all the Viking fans, I hope you enjoyed to uh, have seen this uh, clip again, you know, and I wish you come and watch a lot of our shows in the future with uh, the Vikings and the rest of the other teams. Thank you for watching in the saddle. <laughs>